Fluids have no form. They flow, they change shape, and because they have a very low density, they can't support any mass. Now sand isn't a fluid, but here in the Sam, out in the middle of nowhere, way out from Jaisalmer in Rajasthan, it sure is behaving like one. Now conventional wisdom says a 4x4 is absolutely the best way to tackle sand. But I can't help but wonder, if 4 is good, wouldn't 6 be better? Just look at how easily the inch-long scarab scampers up the golden sands on its six legs. Time to drive up to the area where I'm meeting Rahul, who's also in a 6x6. I'm here at Sam Dunes in Rajasthan with the Polaris 6x6 ATV and Shapur is supposed to join me with yet another 6x6. But, as usual, he's running late. The pressure currently is 70 psi. And for sand, I need to go down to 20. But I want to surprise him. It's been over an hour. Where is he? Shapo! He's going to fall off when he sees this 15-ton monster bearing down on him. And bear down on him, I will. <laughs> so this is what I've got. So this is a 6x6 boss. Yep. It doesn't look very big, does it? <laughs> and uh, what, 760cc? It's a 760 V-twin. V-twin. Yes. Okay, that's pretty powerful. Six-wheel drive, of course. Yes, with diff lock and limited slip differential. This is open. Wow. Yep. That's nice. Now look at all that. Drive shafts and drive shafts and drive shafts. Six wheel drive, that's what it's about. And it's an automatic, right? It is a CVT, yes. So, the thumb throttle. It's got a thumb throttle, yeah. plus the board selector, which means you want driven. Yeah. It's right here. Pretty cool. But that... That is something really crazy. That's, that, that is, is crazy. Really crazy. So 360 horsepower engine, lots of pulling power. You can see all these air bottles, they have to drop the tire pressure. You can see that, that's like 15 PSI, almost all the way down. Really strong inverted bogey suspension. That's what you get from a train, but really tough. This is really lovely, nice and supple over the stuff, what over the these? soft stuff. And this is a crane. They've got a crane here if you want to lift something up to one ton. So it helps with the, all the artillery, all the shells inside, wow. and of course, this is a connection to the Bofors gun. That over there. It's an off-roader, so you also get a winch which can pull a serious amount of load. So in case you get stuck, in case you need to pull somebody else out. So this really is a serious bit of kit. Okay, so let's see what we have here. One standard field artillery tractor dashboard. Of course, solid build quality. You can dance on it and nothing's gonna happen. But also, a lot of things you expect on a vehicle like this. It's almost like your basic 4x4. This one is for the low range, currently in low, we are on the sand. That's the diff locks, the three between the axles, the one in the center. You can use all sorts of permutations and combinations. And this here, finally, is a commander's telephone. <laughs> Lovely old style system. There's another one in the back, in the back of the cabin. Fire! That's all he has to do. He sat here, he's got this turret above him. Pretty neat. But now, let's finally climb some dunes. So this is an eight-speed gearbox, and the system now is in low range, with the tires deflated, so we get a lot of traction on this kind of sandy dune slopes. I'm gonna start in third and see how it goes. 
Now the power band is extremely narrow, so I need to upshift pretty quickly. And then it dies down quite fast. But now I've got this big climb here, so I have to be on the throttle. Nice and consistent, 1500 RPM, and it's gonna drag me up the slope. That's quite a drop, but I think we're going to make it nice and straight. Let the weight take it down. Yeah, easy peasy. I'm going to shift another gear, but as you can see, again, the momentum is almost gone. Now, there's another climb coming up, so I'm going wide. Yeah, the good old truck steering. And I'm gonna have to be on the gas again. That's the turbo spooling up. And now she has enough torque to climb this dune. Pretty mad. There's just so much weight here, you can't take anything for granted. The ground is soft, the declines are steep. You've just got to keep remembering to balance this vehicle. What I also notice is that the 6x6 system is working extremely hard. I can feel it slip at times, the rear wheels bog down if I go too slowly. But what surprises me is that the rear axle feels supple and that's because the load on each axle is halved. It's what the Indian Army uses for their shoot and scoot operations. The Bofors fires a few shells, bang, 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 they hitch on and they're away. Truck engines like this max out at 2,500 RPM and peak power is even lower. This is due to the extremely heavy components and reciprocating masses. So I let it growl to around 1,400 RPM, double the clutch and shift to the next gear. So much for the good stuff, but what about the bad bits? Of course, if this were a regular road test, we'd have a lot to complain about. Very poor visibility here. The engine isn't so refined. Back down that steep decline. And the clutch, well, just let's say it's a bit heavy. Of course, here you have the classic power to weight ratio issue. I have 360 horsepower, enough for a good, extremely powerful saloon, but this thing is just so slow. It's incredibly slow. Just the fear of having something this heavy on a sand dune, you can sink it anyway, you can keep thinking about where the weight's gonna go next. So while I drive what looks like the easier path through the dunes, over saddles and calls, Rahul zips up and down the crest. One minute he's above me, ripping along on top of the dune, the other he's making a quick descent right alongside. And that V-twin, it sounds like a chainsaw with a spot muffler on it. What actually makes this Polaris special is the tremendous power to weight ratio this 6x6 has. And immediately, it's quite apparent. While the Polaris is massively agile, the fat 6x6, well, just isn't. The Polaris is actually finding so much traction on the way up the dunes, Rahul can even get the front wheels in the air. More speed, even more throttle, and soon he's leaping up, all six wheels airborne. Sand, however, means all his landings are nicely cushioned. And then once he selects 2x4 or 6x4 in this case and sends power only to the rear four wheels, he even gets some tail out action. The power slides aren't really long because there's a lot of stiction in the back, but the tail does step out nicely, especially when he flicks those handlebars. And later, he even manages a few 360s. This thing is loads of fun. So, 
it's been a crazy day. It's been an insane day. Yeah, absolutely. I never expected to like this six by six system so much. You know, I thought four by four is is great. It's what you want. It has a bit of agility. But this the rear axle on this thing on the truck is just so supple. And I never ever thought I'd drive something as heavy as 15 tons through this sort of soft mud. I thought the truck would sink like the Titanic, but that back axle, the way it distributes its load and just keeps carrying on and carrying on, and it's like a caterpillar almost, you know. Wow, the 6x6, it's just something else. Absolutely, even the ATV, the 6x6, it was just absolute fun to ride. I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw you. <laughs> All six wheels in the air. Turning, you, you just can't help. It's got chucking so the back power. out. It's got so much power. You just accelerate and it'll just take on any dune that you can see around here. I got yeah. That's it's just a revelation that you can you know look at any soft dune and say okay, that's cool. I'm going there and you know and then the next one and the next one. This is amazing. And I think the six by six thing. You know we are so head up on four by fours, but the six by six thing. If you're really really serious, you want to do some extreme stuff. Yes, I think it's going to be a trend. It's already Mercedes is great six by six and. I just can't wait to drive the next one. Four by fours, I think they're Thing yesterday. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> six by six, maybe that's the new way.